customizing your game's appearance. This video will overview the features available with your Pro subscription that you can use to customize your game's appearance and upload custom image and sound files. You can make your customizations from the Customize page, which you can access from the top of the My Games page. Homeschool Pro Subscriptions These options here in Customize Game Background Image and Colors control the appearance of your game board. Under Game Settings, upload a custom background image by clicking the plus sign. Click on the plus sign, upload the image from your computer, and then, once it's been uploaded successfully, you'll see a preview of the image here. Your file should be no bigger than 3 megabytes. To change the color of any of the features, like the background color or the tile color, click on the current color and then your other color options will appear. So for example, let's say I want to change the tile color, I'll click on this here. These are the color options that are available to me, and I'm going to select this one. I also want to change the dollar sign color, so again, I'm going to click here, choose a new color, and let's have a look at our game board. Here is what our game board looks like after we've made these changes. If you find that you don't like the changes that have been made, just go back to the Customize page, go back to the Game Design settings, and then you'll find this Reset to Default button here. Click on it, and everything will be restored to the original settings. Also, when you make changes, these settings will apply to all of your games. Game point symbol. The default symbol is a dollar sign. If you want to change that, type in whatever symbol you'd prefer to use, or if you'd rather not have it at all, you can remove it completely. Exact case. By default, all text is capitalized. However, if you have case sensitive text, maybe like a formula or something, this option will preserve the case that you use to type that text in. Upload custom team mascots. With your Homeschool Pro subscription, you can also upload a custom team mascot image. Images should be PNG files and a maximum of 3 megabytes. To upload the image, click on the plus sign, select the file from your computer, and then once it's been uploaded successfully, you'll see a check mark, and then you can manage the images from the side here. You can also add a description to your image by clicking here, and then typing in whatever your description is. So for example, this one, I'm going to label this as Class 1 Mascot. Over here, this option will only show the images you've uploaded as mascots when you're selecting teams for gameplay. So this means any of the default mascots that are available will not be displayed and only the images that you've uploaded. Uploading custom sound clips. You can also upload a custom sound clip to be your timer music. All files should be a maximum of 3 megabytes and should be in MP3 format. Click on the plus sign, select the file from your computer, and then once it's been uploaded, you can manage it from the side here. Business Pro subscriptions have access to the same features as the homeschool subscriptions, plus one additional feature. With the Business Pro subscription, you can upload your own logo. Your logo file should be no bigger than 3 megabytes. To upload your logo, click on this plus sign here, and then add your image. And again, once it's been successfully uploaded, you'll see that check mark, and then the image will appear over on the side for you to manage. Down here, you can control where you want your logo to be placed on your Factile board. So we can put it at the top, on the side, or we could put it in both locations. For now, I'm going to select to put it at the top. And once you open your game, you'll see the logo displayed wherever you've placed it. Because I've chosen to put it at the top, I'll see my logo here right next to the title of the game. So those are the features that will allow you to customize your game's appearance, as well as upload custom sound and image files.